Studying pharmacology is tough. We make it easier by taking difficult drug names like haloperidol, which sounds similar to halo pear, to make a comical character to help you ace that test. Let's go! Today, we'll be going over different types of antipsychotics and examples in each class. To remind you of this are the clouds in the sky spelling out the word psych. This spooky scene takes place at night in a graveyard where there are ghosts, visitors visiting loved ones, and bad guys wanting to send someone to their grave. Antipsychotics are a class of drugs that are used in the treatment of psychosis, mood stabilization, and in the treatment of acute behavioral disturbances. They are usually taken orally, however, some of the antipsychotics have the ability to be given as an intramuscular injection, which can be fast-acting injections, which are often used in acute behavioral disturbances, or slow-acting injections, otherwise known as depot injections, that are often given for the treatment of chronic conditions like schizophrenia, and are a good choice when there are compliance issues with oral medications. Antipsychotics are split up into first and second generation classes. Although there are a couple exceptions, most antipsychotics block dopamine receptors in the brain, leading to decreased dopaminergic neurotransmission. First-generation antipsychotics have tendencies to cause more extrapyramidal side effects EPSEs, than second-generation antipsychotics. EPSEs include acute dystonia, akathisia, akinesia, and tardive dyskinesia. In this picture, we highlight three of the first-generation antipsychotics. The first generation antipsychotics are all located on the bottom right of our picture. Chlorpromazine, represented by the colorful magazine, colorful magazine, chlorpromazine. Flufenazine is the thermometer representing the flu who is fencing. Flufencing, flufenazine. Haloperidol is the halo pair. Halo pair. Haloperidol. Second generation antipsychotics tend to cause more metabolic side effects than first generation antipsychotics, such as weight gain, diabetes, and hypercholesterolemia. This scene covers 11 second generation antipsychotics. The first of these that we'll talk about is clozapine, represented by the Santa Claus hat on the pine tree. Claus pine, clozapine. Now we'll spend a little more time talking about clozapine because it's quite an important medication. Clozapine was a first second generation antipsychotic introduced into the market. Although considered the most effective antipsychotic, clozapine is not first line therapy due to the chance of agranulocytosis, a dangerous leukopenia, and is usually only used in individuals that have failed to respond to at least two other antipsychotics. Furthermore, high clozapine levels in the blood have been associated with cardiac toxicity. For these reasons, patients treated with clozapine must be monitored with regular blood tests, including full blood counts and clozapine levels. The pine tree is associated with three other medications on our list. The oohs coming out of the ghost, or the O's, represent olanzapine. O lanza peen. The ghost ascending up the pine tree represents a senapine. Ascending pine, a senapine. The sign that says quit hanging down from the pine tree reminds you of quitiapine. Quit pine, quitiapine. The ghost luring the zebra is lorazidone. Luring Lorazidone. The zipper on the zebra represents ziprazidone. Zipper zebra, ziprazidone. The tombstone with RIP on it stands for two different medications. The first is a ripiprazole, aripiprazole, rip, aripiprazole, and the second is Risperidone. Rip Risperidone. I wanted just to take a minute to talk about aripiprazole 
because it has a slightly different mechanism of action than the other antipsychotics on our list. Instead of blocking the dopamine receptor, it is what's called a partial agonist. So what it can do is instead of having the full force of dopamine act on certain receptors, because it is a partial agonist, it can disrupt the areas in the brain where dopamine acts quite strongly on these receptors. So in essence, although it is an agonist and will act upon these receptors, it will cause less strong of a reaction than actual dopamine. The visitor beside the tombstone is a pale pear. Pale pear represents paliperidone. Pale pear, paliperidone. You may notice that this character is sulking and has what appears to be the colors of the pride flag in his mouth. Now, this represents two different antipsychotics. Sulk pride represents sulpride and also amis sulpride. They sound quite similar. Alright folks, that's it for this video. To learn more about visual mnemonics and antipsychotics, including mechanisms of action and side effects, please check out our website at visuallearner.net. Happy studying!